Hey there, I'm Kurt. I'm an avid campaigner from Salt Lake City, Utah. I spent a lot of time organizing campaigns around the West. Um, last cycle, I was with the DCCC where we took back the House of Representatives. Now I'm representing the Tuesday Company and I'm here to talk with you all about relational organizing. Probably the most cool thing I've done is run with the bulls. Olay. Relational organizing is basically friends talking to their friends, friends talking with their families about issues that they care about. It's the idea that we can mobilize voters based on their relationship and social network. People trust their friends and acquaintances more than they trust people that they just met on the door. Relational organizing tools make it easy for supporters to open up their networks to you. Once those networks are open to you, you can send through any messages that you want. And those messages are likely to be trusted because it's coming from friends and family. Relational organizing is something that you should be building as part of your normal campaign events. Relational organizing should be built into regular field events like canvassing. It's important for candidates to collect phone numbers on their website in addition to emails. Um, that empowers your campaign to be able to use those phone numbers to make sure that your volunteers can contact their friends and family. When using this type of tool, it's best to target people who have lots of friends and family in the area that you're trying to reach. It's best to target people who have friends and family in the area. The most important thing is that if there is a community or type of group that you're trying to reach, that you find somebody that has access to that network. Let's talk about the biggest strengths with this type of tool. One of the biggest strengths is ease of mobilization. It's very good at mobilizing people fast in your base universe. You can also get to more people. Volunteers can contact many more voters than they can with other tools. And trust sells. Relationship-based conversations are more effective than cold ones. Relational organizing itself can require some investment in time. To get to scale, you'll need a lot of volunteers to use the tool. These days, millennials are 38 at the top end. They're used to getting their information online. It's important for campaigns to reach voters where they are. When you're on the campaign, it's a team effort. The Team App is a relational organizing app that enables your campaign to scale its relational organizing efforts. Campaigns should use Team App because it enables you to increase penetration of your target universes. It also enables your volunteers to have personal conversations with their friends about the issues they care about and oftentimes leads to more quality conversations. Conversations through relational organizing tools like TMAP can be 20 times as effective as far as the quality of conversation goes than just a regular cold conversation. If you're planning to use TMAP for your campaign, you need to plan to get volunteers to download the app. Um, you should be ready to have fun and fresh conversations with your volunteers and keep them in the loop about what's going on with the campaign and make sure that they know when you have new tasks for them. Finally, you'll want to make sure that your organizers are following up with their volunteers to make sure they're completing tasks and that the data is getting put back into the app.